Denver 7 On Demand is brought to you by Ferguson and BAC Appliance Center. The best in bath, kitchen, and lighting for your home. I'm Eric Lufer with the latest from Denver 7. Today is officially the first day of flu season, so if you haven't gotten a flu shot yet, now is the time to do it. While flu season starts today, the state health department says they've already had more than 60 cases reported since June. The flu can be deadly, especially in kids. Last year, 136 children died from the flu. Three of those were in Colorado. This morning, we are seeing more alarming new numbers for the lung disease tied to the vaping crisis. Here's the breakdown. The CDC says out of the 805 confirmed cases, 77% of patients reported using vaping products containing THC. The latest data also highlights more men, as well as young people, have been impacted by the disease. The FDA and some states are working to ban flavored vaping products as Colorado teen use remains the highest in the country. So far, eight people have been hospitalized in our state. Nationwide, there have been at least 13 confirmed deaths linked to vaping. Today is the last day the Belmar Library in Lakewood will be open. It's closing tomorrow for several months for a full redesign. While the library is closed, there will be a mini low-tech version of the library in the parking garage at Lakewood Civic and Cultural Center. There will be a vending machine with a limited number of books for people to choose from. And if you put a book on hold using the online system, there will be lockers in the parking garage. From the First Alert Weather Center, here's Katie with your forecast. Hi everyone, it'll be sunny and dry, but also extremely windy and fire danger critical across a big chunk of Colorado. You can see all areas shaded here in red under a fire weather warning until at least 7 o'clock tonight. Low relative humidity, warm and dry conditions, and very gusty winds. We'll top out at 85 degrees in Denver for today. The Broncos game will be a sunny but breezy one, and then for tonight we'll drop down to the upper 40s to low 50s. Sunny, calmer Monday, a high of 78 degrees expected. Much cooler Tuesday, a high only of 63, and then we'll gradually warm up through the middle and end of the week under a mostly sunny sky. Hi, Eric. Feeling like fall. Thanks, Katie. This has been your Denver 7 On Demand update. Thanks for joining us. You can check back here later for another update. And you can download the Denver 7 app for breaking news and alerts. Have a great day.